And I was so over it. I was not making any putts and ready to rack them for the rest of the year. To fully understand this state of mind of Jeff Ogilvy, you need to take a look back at his PGA Tour career. Jeff Ogilvy has won the 2006 Match Play Championship. In 2006, Ogilvy introduced himself to the golf world, and we got our first glimpse of the rising Aussie star off the course with his wife, Julie. You look so young. Slightly more hair on my head. <laughs> it's a time looked back upon fondly by the Ogilvies. 2006 was crazy. We found out we were pregnant right before he played the match play at La Costa and didn't tell anyone. He won the match play and we had our first sonogram the next day and then he goes and wins the US Open. It was just crazy, like crazy. I didn't really expect anything amazing to happen. At winged foot, I mean, I knew I was playing well, scrambled well, putted well, and it all worked out. Things go pretty fast after you win a tournament like that. Jeff continued his hot play, adding four more wins and 20 top tens to his resume over the next four seasons. For four or five years, I pretty much played all the big tournaments, and when you win a few tournaments, it just gets easier and easier. Golf is a really hard game when you're struggling and a really easy game when you're playing well. But as quickly as the wins came, they went away, resulting in Ogilvy falling from one of the top 10 players in the world to outside the top 200. Golf on tour wasn't fun there for a while. It's not that fun to miss cuts and struggle and stuff. I mean, that gets pretty old, especially when you've got kids at home and you just want to be at home and you're on your fourth week in a row and you've missed two cuts and it just, it's just not that fun. For four years, he wasn't in the winning circle. We're a team and I felt like I couldn't do anything to make it better. I couldn't do anything to make it go away. It's frustrating. I started struggling because I started working harder at it. I stood outside Jeff Ogilvy and tried to look at it objectively and thought about everything I'd ever done with golf practice-wise and play-wise and equipment-wise. For the longest time, I think, I did it how I thought I was supposed to do it. But I've started looking at what I think works for me. You don't have to work for anyone else. With Ogilvy rediscovering his game, an opportunity to return to the winner's circle at the Barracuda Championship was almost missed. I decided on Monday morning when I woke up, there's no way I was going to go. But I was committed to the tournament. And then by Monday night, everyone seemed to think it was the right idea that I'd go. So I got on a plane on Tuesday, went up, and it all turned out pretty well. Jeff Ogilvy back in the winner's circle for the first time in more than four years. That's a pretty nice feeling to win a tournament when it's been that long. I remember how fun the sister winning off tournament. It was a good deal. It just hit me like a ton of bricks, this huge relief. Like the weight of the world just kind of came off of my shoulders and I know that that's how he felt. His resurgence didn't stop there. He made a run through the playoffs, qualifying for the Tour Championship by Coca-Cola for the first time in three seasons. I win Reno and then have to finish second in Boston, which gets me up into the top 30 and gets to East Lake. So from where I was out in the middle of the year to now is a um, pretty incredible difference. I always knew that it would happen and I knew we would do it. I knew he would do it again. I knew it. I'm proud of us because we came out on top. I just want to keep playing better. I'd obviously love to go win a major again. Just excited to play more good golf tournaments and hopefully I can get up there in the mix in some of the really big ones next year and uh, have a really good year.